Hi Lux Travelers, welcome back to my channel, Jade here with Lux Travel. We are a boutique luxury travel agency curating door-to-door -door travel itineraries and booking the best properties each destination has to offer, um, tailor experience for each individual and as everyone is seeking something a little different, um, we are about to visit the Conrad Rengali Maldives Resort in South Ariato in Maldives and I'm going to show you a lot like our journey and our trip there step by step first in the seaplane lounge um, Conrad has the new seaplane lounge in the new seaplane terminal that just went into use this month of October 2022 and in the lounge all the toiletries are by right all same as um, in your villa once you get to the property and there's different um, ordering options and then you have a 25 to 35 minute seaplane ride on top of the beautiful different atolls islands of Maldives to reach to Rengali Island in South Ariato Conrad does have seaplane platform, so most likely you should just on a deplane the seaplane um, at the seaplane platform that's already on Conrad's um, property. And we have um, visited um, the Moraka underwater residence. Um, the Etha, the first underwater restaurant in the world and in Maldives, as well as um, diving the South Rengali, a wall, um, coral wall. And um, we stayed in a grand overwater villa. However, I'm also featuring some other um, properties along different parts of the resort. Just a little bit overview. The resort is broken down into two parts. In reality, it's three different islands, which is the Staff Island, Bengali Island, that's the adults, um, that's the what you would call a quiet zone because the restaurant outlets are not only for adults only because families can go there and dine. However, the accommodations are for adults and there's a long um, bridge connecting Ringali Island to Ringali Finolu, which is the main part that we stayed on. Ringali Finolu hosts the water sports um, dive center and a um, separate different outlets for pool restaurants um, that's more family friendly and the overwater section and land section of the villas that's tailored for family use. Um, so we are, um, as mentioned, we're staying in Grand Overwater Villa. These properties are all renovated pretty recently and, and I really love the like glass features in the villa. Um, given that it's not so much um, for privacy per se, it, the main purpose is for scenery and you really feel like um, you are over water and you're being able to appreciate the different turquoise water on different sides surrounding the villa and when you want um, to have more privacy, you can press the button and lower the blinds so that can you know you can have a kind of four wall structure in the living room and in the bedroom um, you are able to see again the floor to ceiling clear window that just brings in the blue from outside to inside the private pool in the grand overwater villa unit that's the one we stay in it is a little bit on the smaller side compared to similar resort profiles. Um, however, there are much bigger private pool options in diff different categories. And But in honesty, you will most likely not really be 
going into the private pool all that much if you are comfortable going to the water in the ocean. The lagoon here is extremely beautiful. The water is super clear on all days. Um, even on the windy days, it is just very clear, very beautiful. And um, the vegetation here is very nicely groomed and it's just a very I think gifted island in terms of nature be natural beauty um, the water going down to the lagoon is shallow and just very swim friendly swimming friendly and if you're not very comfortable in swimming to the ocean just know that you can stand up in any given time um, and the water will be around your waist um, there are different family-friendly categories as well as couples-only categories that um, I am showing in this video. And there are two different pools. Uh, the Infinity Edge Pool is located on the Rengali side, which is the where the adults' um, accommodations are. And there are two um, spa. Uh, there are two spas. Both are over water. Um, it's very tranquil I think it's just a very beautiful place maybe in my video you're seeing the outside um, wooden hut structure is not super new it is not new at all it's quite old um, as long as the resort has been here so in the renovation the indoor interiors are renovated but not the outdoor part during our stay we had seen lots of stars, most beautiful sunset that is burning orange and purple um, on this island, as well as um, small bioluminescent particles when we we're walking by the beach at night. Um, there are no bikes for rent here. Um, it's mostly buggy service. Give about 10 to 15 minutes ahead of time when you call and request for a buggy and someone will come and collect you in your villa wherever you want to go. Um, the I feel like the atmosphere in this resort is more casual so it, um, a lot of restaurant outlets are just directly on the sand even when indoors the floor is made of sand so that's great if you really enjoy a more um, low-key luxury um, trip and being in South Ariato the highlight of course is whale sharks um, there are every other day snorkeling opportunities trips to go to the whale shark spot to swim with whale sharks and um, I think there's a lot of repeaters coming back to this island for good reason it's just like a very comfortable atmosphere of course if you are someone who enjoys dressing up um, have you know a fine dining where you're wearing high heels and um, have a different course meals you can do that uh, maybe without the heels in the underwater restaurant but overall um, just to keep in mind this is more of a casual five-star property um, with everything all the service everyone being very nice and amazing housekeeping but it is not um, as some other properties in Maldives as dressy which we actually really enjoy just being able to be barefoot and put our feet in, uh, in sand while dining so that is my overview for Conrad Ringali Resort in South Korea in Maldives do send me an inquiry for your upcoming travel to book um, any stays in Maldives, any other places. You can find my email address linked down below. Looking forward to hearing from you.